Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, talking about the Greek language. If you've been following our channel, you notice that we've been doing a lot of studies in the Hebrew language. But anytime Hebrew comes up, there's always a debate over whether the sound is V O as in Va or W as in Wa when it comes to our father's name. I understand that the Germanic Jews are the ones who uh, changed the um, W to a V because that's basically how they speak in Germany. Uh, just about everything has a V sound. But anyway, we come over to the Greek and looking at their language. And I noticed something really interesting, and that's how the beta is actually changed to the V in the Greek language. So instead of having alpha, beta, gamma, they have, or A, B, G, like the Hebrew is, theirs is alpha, beta. They, I guess they're going to change it now to beta, gamma getting rid of the whole B sound out of the alphabet. So my question is, why is it so important to hide the W sound? And why is it so important to insert this V sound when it's not really in any of the ancient languages except German? Hmm. Really interesting. Now, I'm sure some of you are going to say that the beta makes the V sound. But notice here when you're looking at how these words are pronounced, notice a pattern here. We're going to come back to the B, but notice that the A sound is pronounced alpha and makes the A sound. The gamma makes the G sound, as in gurgle. The delta makes the the sound, as in there. Epsilon makes the sound E. Zeta sounds like Z. Eta sounds like E. Theta sounds like the and through. The soft the sound. Iota makes the E sound. Kappa makes the K sound. Lambda makes the L sound. Mu makes the M sound. Nu makes the N sound. So all of these letters are corresponding. Z makes the X sound. Pi makes the P sound. Rho makes the R sound. Sigma makes the S sound. Tau makes the T sound. All the way through. Phi makes the F sound. Epsilon the E sound. Chi makes the sound like in chala. Psi seems to be a little different as it makes a sound like in chips. No, I guess there it is. The P sound at the end. And Omega, which begins with an O, actually makes the O sound. But all of them correspond just like every other language except their B makes the V sound. It's standing out there like a sore thumb. Something's been changed. Something's different. Why was that necessary is the question. Why is it necessary to artificially insert this V in here? And for those who missed the first part, when you're looking back at the ancient pronunciations of the beta, it was the B sound in English, but it's only in the modern pronunciations does it make the V sound as in vote. Interesting. You see, this is the thing about 2022. People fact check you. I can imagine there are people in the pews of some of these churches fact checking preachers. I, I bet that's just funny. But anyway, I come over here and I look for Barabbas in the Bible. We see him mentioned in Matthew 27 and 16. That notable prisoner that was set free. While our Messiah was hung on a tree. Well, notice over here how they spell his name, Barabbas. 
in the Greek. They got betas all over the place. They have three betas there as they spell Barabbas. Now let's see if we can find a word with Vic with V in it. Stash. What's a New Testament word that begins with the letter V? Yeah, as in Victor. What what about a name? Is there a name that begins with a letter V in the New Testament? We can't think. I'm trying to think of a name that begins with the letter V in the New Testament. Now, one name can we think of to to check this out? I right, what I right, what about a vase? Can anybody think of a name in the New Testament that begins with a V? I don't mean the lab. The, there's no V's in there. Vagabond should be a good one. Let's let's see what it looks like. What verse was that? No, we need the New Testament. Virgin out of work. Let's try Matthew 23, 1 and 23. And it's not even spelled with a V in it. We can't think of a name that starts with the letter V in the New Testament. If you could think of one, let us know in the comment section. We'd be glad to look it up. But the one word that we try to look up that begins with a V doesn't have a V in it at all. It's not even spelled the same at all. It transliterates to Parthenus or something like that. All right, so this is how to get us. We're looking at the new most popular names of the New Testament. This is getting funny. I, I can't help myself from laughing. There's no names in the New Testament that begins with the letter V. Oh, there you go. What does it say? List of biblical names starting with A. It's going to get it. It's going to get it right here. Ain't none of those names in the New Testament. I don't believe it. Let's try it. This one says Hebrew Old Testament. Glad I ain't got to look them up otherwise. Queen of Persia, that would have been the Hebrew Old Testament. In the book of Esther. Hebrew Old Testament. So all of them are in that. Now let's, let's check another one. Let's check the bees. Got plenty of names with B. Look at all the names with B. Oh man. Look at all the names with B's in it. Look at all the names with B's in it. Dang. Look at all the names with B's in it. Let's see how long it takes us to find. Well, we don't know. We didn't find Barabbas. Beelzebub is in the New Testament. All right, for grins and giggles, let me check one more thing. There, there's no W's here, listed here. There's no W's at all. Let's look back at the V. Let's, let's look up Vesta. Well, it's Vashti. Let's look this one up. Vashni. It also says Vashni. And there's that other one there. Wapasi. So they're all W's. All of the V's in the Bible are really W's. There's that one. Bezarka. One more. 
See, this is the problem. Like I say, people fact checking you. Years ago, you wouldn't have been able to do this. Some people still can't do it. I can't. Even that one is a wanya. That's it, guys. There's no V's in the Bible. There's no V's in the Bible. You know what? That's what we're going to call this video. There's no V's in the Bible. It's proof. Anybody who's saying that the father's name is Jehovah, you know, they're they changing, the, they changing his name, taking the power out of his name. I'm closing this video out. That's it. Proof positive. 100% case closed.